is Poggies, we get to go first. This pack is dumb. This is a dumb pack. Uh, we got your old Mason. We got your Grocers. We got your... Uh... Hold on, we're going to do it like this. Got your Grocer. Got your Mason. We got your Assistant Tillers. I mean... Uh, this is the obvious thing to do. This is the obvious thing. The very obvious thing. The other obvious thing to do is this and this. Two obvious things. Which one do I prefer? I'm not wheeling either of these combos. I'm not wheeling either of them. Fields are gonna be better. This is gonna be better at this game. If people are trying to build lots of rooms, the action efficiency of this is gonna be better. It's gonna be a little bit better to do this. Especially if I can get something to combo with this. This pack is way worse. <laughs> This is back is way worse. This wood expert sucks because we have nothing to play with it. Clay fire is actually okay here. Clay fire is actually not bad with a lot of clay. I don't want a Freemason this game. This is not a Freemason game. Uh, wood expert's so tempting. I need something with with the. Uh, I could mill right and so early on. Ah, yuck, dude. I think Reed Pond's gonna be quite good here. I also think that... I really think Clayfire is the best thing for us. Wood Expert's fine. In a vacuum, Wood Expert's the best card, but Clayfire is just the best for our game plan of getting a million clan lump. I mean, we're getting 15 clay. We can build in clay, but... It's so good to have extra things to do with clay. It's so, so good. We probably wheel this. Maybe not. Ugh, maybe Homebrew is fine. Like, it's very close between, like, these three. Like, they're all pretty medium cards, but the problem is that, like, I need medium cards that are going to help my game plan. This card is better. Like, Wood Expert on Raid is the best card, but it doesn't go with our game plan at all. We have nothing to use with it. We'll just play Fire. We'll let someone else do it. We'll let someone else do it and add Wood to the game. This is the best Auk for us. It's not the best Auk in the pack, but it's the best Auk for our game plan of getting a million in clay. Yeah, it's the best Auk for our game plan here. Chat, what would you have done? This <laughs> is not ranked game, so we can we can talk about it. I don't think anyone else would have done this. I could have Freemasoned, but Freemason seems very if, if like I get a, a way to reno early on, then you can do it, but I don't know. We're we're just hunting for, for day labor cards. We're hunting for anything else where we can do something with day labor here. Just hunting for literally anything else with day labor on it. Like wait, friggin' assistant tiller, or not assistant tiller. Uh, the other, the other one that gives you crops. The day labor card that gives you crops would be crazy here. It'd be absolutely nuts because we wanna, we wanna so early. We have a lot of things that we can do with like veggies and things like that. So yeah, getting, getting a lot of fields early and sowing is gonna be good. I do need more ox I can play. I'm gonna play an ox on turn one. So no matter what I do here, I need some ox I can play on turn one. Wood expert potentially is that, but I, I I don't have anything that has wood cost in it right now. I don't remember anything from my original pack that could possibly wheel that has a double wood cost in it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I need the auto lighting to be better on my camera. Hold on, can I can I fix the auto lighting maybe? Okay, it just does it. All right, it just does it. Fine. 
Fine, fine, fine. Oh, sorry, chat. You're, you're, uh, I'm, I'm hiding my reed pawn behind you. I'll just do this. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do there. Whoopsies. I forgot, I forgot it does that. I, I forgot that if you click it, it does that. Unfortunate to see Master Builder here. That's really unfortunate. Um, Bricklayer is insane here. Bricklayer is completely nuts for us. Yeah, I'll take a Bricklayer here. Bricklayer is super duper good. Crosscut Wood is good. Play Supply is bad. Cycle Brick's bad. Supply Boat's bad. Is three field rotation good? I don't know if three field rotation is good enough or not. I don't know. Could be. I want the gran granary is also tempting. Also very tempting. Crosscut wood is also just really good. Actually, we can do crazy stuff with bricklayer, clay fire, or crosscut wood. I, I think this is a good strat. Yeah, playing crosscut wood here is good. We can play bricklayer on turn one or assistant tiller. That's gonna be totally fine. I want to wield the roughcaster. Actually, no one has any respect for roughcaster, but roughcaster when you're doing stuff like this is actually not terrible at all. Ideally, we get a uh, whatever card that lets you build on day labor. That would be really nice. Card that lets you build a Rhino on day labor would actually be insane here. If we get that, we're winning. I don't remember what it's called, but if we get that, we're, we're just crushing this game. Yeah, I could take a Master Builder, but whatever. We'll pass it to whoever gets freaking the other combo. The the other stupid combo of, of uh, Mason plus plus uh, Half Timbered House. Mason Half Timbered House is super dumb. Someone's going to do it to me. I'm, I feel it. I feel like I messed up by not... I mean, it's just the way the draft broke. Like, it, it just... I, the draft could have broken where this is until her lone pit's better. Like, here it's only okay. It's just not the best. I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass Cause you ain't done everything Bring me those contracts Come on, bring them to the king If you haven't finished your path haven't worked assiduously no i cannot let you pass. i think i want winter caretaker here i need i need crops at some point early on crops are going to be insane early what else do i take i hate harpooner i refuse to take it i mean it's the obvious obvious winter caretaker here is obvious i just don't know what the other card is um education bonus is interesting Sheepwell? I might take Sheepwell here. Having having extra stone like improvements is good because we're going to have a lot of stone this game. So having extra things to do with stone is not bad. I'm, I'm pretty in on this. I don't think stone clearing is doing it for us. Bring me those contracts. Pronto! Don't you mess with me. Don't mess with kings. Yeah, we're just we're just like doing stuff. We're, we're just going to day labor a bunch early on. We're, we're, so we're going to go Bricklayer into Winter Caretaker into Assistant Tiller. We're going to take a lump pit, and then we're going to day labor like 50 times in the first few turns, and then we're going to plow sometime before round seven, and then we're going to pog um, once we get to build. Sometime in there, we can take some read too. Like that's just our plan. We're we're just we're just going to execute that plan. That's going to be very clean. Am I starting with bricklayer or winter caretaker? I guess bricklayer because then I can buy a fireplace potentially. What? 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 Chat, someone explain. Someone explain. Someone please explain what happened. What happened? What? This card's crazy. What? 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 Oh my god, there's a hard porcelain too. Oh no. No, I forgot about hard porcelain. No, hard porcelain is like clear fire, but it's better. Uh, I actually think hard porcelain is better. <laughs> I forgot about hard porcelain. Shoot, that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh uh, no. Wait, is Stork Sess good here? Stork Sess could actually be insane here. Oh no, dude, not like this. Wait, Stork Sess could be nuts. The, the fifth awk is going to kill me. The fifth awk is going to be very costly to play the Stork's Nest. I can grow once and play the stork's nest for the last two rooms. 
I can't believe I'm thinking about taking Stork's Nest over Hard Porcelain, but the Clay Fire essentially does what Hard Porcelain does for me. Yikes. Yikes, dude. I want to play this at some point anyways. Like, I'm gonna... There's five box I need to play right here. All right, YOLO. YOLO, chat. We're YOLOing. I, I am shocked, Mason Wheel. That's actually shocking. I can't... I, I can't even fathom the, the card that got taken over Mason. I can't... I, I, I don't remember what was in that pack, but th I don't think there was anything that was even close to better than Mason. Good thing Carpenter's coming late. That's good Good to see because Carpenter is bad. Um, I'm, I've been solo on Carpenter my whole life. I still think it's bad. Even though I have Bricklayer, I, I wouldn't even consider Carpenter here. Not even considering it. If I didn't have the Loam Pit, then maybe. If I didn't have the Loam Pit, maybe i consider it, but... <laughs> this pack sucks. This pack is very bad. Stable Architect is the best card for... It. Home Brewer might be playable. We don't have that much grain, though. We have, like, no grain here. Yeah, I mean, Stable Architect's the best thing for us. The other card is going to be bad. I mean, Lasso is, like, so gross here. Yeah, these cards are really bad. I mean, I guess we're going to pick Lasso. There is a chance we play Lasso. We're never playing any of these other three. Never, ever, in a million years. I mean, I guess Herring Pot's free. Is Herring Pot good if it's free? No, it's not. It might be. It's free. I'm only taking it because it's free off Bricklayer. That's the only reason it's even worth considering. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. The combos. Wait a second. I mean, well, okay. They just wanted me to win this game, I guess, because they're, they're passing me Mason Master Bricklayer. So I guess it's it's all Poggy Woggies. That's insane. Uh, That's completely nuts. I mean, Supply Boat seems fine. It's a wood for a point. It combos with the herring pot, I guess. Like, it's not terrible. We can buy a grain with... Buying a grain with this is actually huge. Like, buy, buying an extra grain here is going to be really nice because we are going to be a little bit short on grain. Um, I mean, this is stupid. This was a stupid draft. Uh, this draft should not have been able to happen. This should not have been able to happen. Someone... The, people are disrespecting Mason a lot, and, and I am... I mean, I'm here for it because I like Mason, but... <laughs> the Mason's br broken. It's really good, so whatever, I'll take it. Uh, what am I leading with? I'm leading with my thing, my think thing. With, uh, oh, I don't want this here. I want this somewhere else. We're leading with Bricklayer anyways. Let me just do this. Confirm it. Let me let me switch my uh, cards to be bottom of the screen. And shrink the card size down a little bit. There we go. Shrink that down a little bit too. Shrink this down maybe just a little, little teeny bit. All right, chat, can you see everything? Is everything seeable? Yeah, we'll, we'll just do this and then shrink it down if we need to. We'll shrink it down if we need to. Someone not taking Ankh on their first turn. Very interesting. Um, yeah, we're just we're just trying to play through Ox and Reno here or, and, and play a Lone Pit. That's all we're trying to do. Just play through Ox and Lone Pit. So every other, every other thing that we do is just trying to get this into play. Like every single other thing that we do. What is this going to be? Field Watchman. Okay, well, that explains a lot. Field Watchman explains a lot of stuff. This explains a lot of stuff that happened. I mean, if, I mean, if we're, we're getting lessons into Reedstone food. What? We're getting lessons into Reedstone food. Oh, no, chat. Oh, no. We got lessons into Reedstone food. Oh, no. This is why I need... I want to get some high elo games where, like... I, I, not, no disrespect. Like, maybe there's a reason to plow on turn one, but I, I think it's pretty unlikely. I think it's fairly unlikely that plowing on turn one is is correct um, like this. There's, like, no way. Like, are we playing... Uh, are we playing big country? Like, or, or do we have another big country game? If we have another big country game, like, then that makes this whole draft make sense of why I got Mason Master Builder last couple picks. That makes that makes a lot of sense. If that's what happened, if we're getting big country and field watchman, that makes this draft make a lot of sense. But then someone took half timbered house and didn't take the Mason, which is weird. I think that's weird to me. Whatever. I cannot have asked for a better first round here. 
I'm hiding a herring pot and a storage a supply boat behind my head, by the way. Okay, starting player green seats. Cool. I'm, I'm in on that. Block the field watchman. Let's go. Unfortunately, next turn. Oh, wait a second. Thinking. Thinking emoji. Clay supply. Clay supply a lot better than uh, grain, grain stuff early. A lot better than, than the grain stuff early on. Way, way better. This music is kind of kind of banging. Is, is the music loud? I don't think it's loud. It's just loud to me, I think. Uh, the grain seeds. Makes sense. Darn it. Gray actually knows how to play with Field Watch, and I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I, I watch too many people, like... It's a little loud. Oh, okay, cool. I can turn it down. I will absolutely turn it down. It was a little loud for me, so I will turn it down. If it's loud for you, then I, I it's probably... That's good. I will turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of banging a little bit. Yeah, well, I, I, hopefully that's better. That way, you just, like, halved it. That should be fine. Thank you for, for saying something. I appreciate it, Fofo. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Daily... What the heck? The next turn's gonna be so dumb. We're gonna have such stupid actions next turn. What the heck? Fair enough. Okay, good. Awesome. Good to hear. What are we doing here? I need Auk. No, Tutor. I need Auk here. I will take wood if it gets to me. Oh, taking the clay. Interesting. I guess blocking my brick layer. I guess once a... Uh, okay, I'll take Auk here. That's fine. What do I want to take? Uh, I'll take a Winter Caretaker because I want to buy a veggie off of this. Yeah, we're going to Winter Caretaker here. The wheel, whatever I get on the wheel is going to be nuts here. Is there anything I could play on my miner? I guess we could play Herring Pot. We just go Herring Pot into fishing here. Yeah, that's fine. If we if we get blocked on like everything else good, we'll just go Herring Pot into fishing. That's fine. If we get blocked and everything else, we'll just do that. All right, so we're playing this Winter Caretaker. No! I'm getting destroyed! Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is bad. The starting player is very bad for me. No, dude, not like this. Not like this. This is bad. This is not what I wanted, because the problem is that I'm going to get just dumpstered here on the wheel. Yeah, Reedstone Film, that's unfortunate. Not taking the reed, that's also unfortunate. Um, I mean, I'll take the reed, that's fine. I'll do it. I'm not above it. I'll do it. I need a three food action here. I need so much food this this round. This worked out very badly for me. Assistant tiller. I need a three food action. I need to go three food, assistant tiller, starting player lump it, day labor. That's what I need. That's that's the action that's the order of things I need here. If I don't get all three of those, I'm gonna be in bad shape. If I don't get all those things, I'm, it's going to be bad news for me. All right, that's fine. I don't need that this turn. Don't need that this turn. Oh, wait, I do need that this turn. Kappa. Kappa. Because, yeah, I can't lump it. Man. Man, man, man. All right, I mean, I guess I don't need to lump it until next turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess we don't need to lump it until later on. Um, I think Gray is also going to try and reno, which is annoying. Uh, what's going on with food right now? The food situation's bad. I can't lessons into start player lump it. No. Uh, we're in bad shape. I gotta go... I need a three food action here. It's really sad, but I need a three food action here. It's very, very sad. If I wheel the other three food action, I probably have to take it, honestly. Yeah, I, I need food actions. I need a reedstone food so bad. I have to buy a veggie here. If I don't buy a veggie, I'm gonna be in trouble. Not buying a veggie is gonna be a problem for me. I guess this is a mistake. I mean, well, the problem is that, like, starting player Lumpet is so bad for me. It's, like, not good at all. All right, you can do that. You're just going to starve, I guess, because I'm taking the three food. You're insane if you think you're getting this three food back. This is a mistake. Oh, my God, we get free grain, though? Let's go. I'm in on that. 
God, I freaking love Market Crier so much. I love it when other people play Market Crier. It's really nice when other people play Market Crier. It's very, 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 very nice. Yeah, I will absolutely take the three food here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh-huh. All right, we got a field. All right, we have a shifting cultivation in our hand. Very cool. Yeah, Chad, you can't tell what a card is or, or want to know what it is, then let me know. Uh, I think I'm taking the three food here, honestly. That way I can go assistant tiller into starting player lump pit. I have to buy a veggie here. Yeah, we got to buy a veggie. Got to buy a veggie. This person's just going to starve because they messed up. They're just going to starve because they messed up. There's six wood here. Pause champ. <laughs> All right, whatever. We don't we don't care about any other quantity of wood here. Assistant tiller. Into starting player. And then I don't know what we're going to do with our first action next round, but we that's that's going to be our plan. Then we're going to just take day labor a million times. Yep, they cannot feed. That makes sense. They should have they should grain first. If they don't grain first here, they're going to be in uh yeah, I mean they're, they're probably in trouble anyways, so yeah. They're, they're just concerned about me blocking day labor, I guess. If I block day labor on them, they're just dead. All right, everything's coming together. If Rhino flips, I'm going to do I I think Gray is going to play this freaking thing again. I think Gray's on the on the train of of freaking Two, two room. Oh, we're playing Bell Founder. No way, we use it this turn, right? This guy have a spicy combo. I don't know if it's good, but it's spicy. Is this good? There's no way this is good. No way. And then Oshiro over here is playing the the most big country, big country of all time. Freaking big country. Yeah, you can have all your fields, you can have all your wood. It's just like, like, it's just a competition of like, can the other players in the game get 50? And if they can, you're dead. And if they can't get 50, then then you're winning. It's just like, like, that's what Big Country does. Which, uh, I don't like passing Big Country to people because it gives people who I think are like, worse players than me a, a, a better amount of points they can get. Like, like it's a very easy plan to execute, I think. And and if you learn how to do it and then you do it, like it's very easy to do. And so I, I it sort of makes it so that way, like if your plan goes wrong, then, then lower scale players can sort of eke out victories against you more often. So I don't like passing big country, but I still can very frequently win against big country, which is good. The high fit, the like mid 50 big country games are a lot scarier. This is not big country. If this isn't big country, I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, and then I'm going to just starting player here. If I, if I, if six wood happens, I will take it. I mean, if it happens, I'm going to take it. No one can build here. What the heck? Well, no one can build here. What is going on? No one can build. Literally, no one can build. Every single person in this game is clowning. We've all got our clown makeup on. Every single person is clowning in this game. We've got all the clown makeup on. Clay oven, interesting. Oh, I like clay oven with bell founder here. That's pretty spicy. That's very, very spicy. Yeah, we're, we're all clowning here. Everybody's clowning. Reno flips, I don't know what I'm doing here. Reno flips, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. They get the combo. They must've gotten the combo, right? It's gotta be the combo. Four to feed my family. Buy a veggie. And then we're going to be sowing said veggie. We got a combo at least. At least we got our combo up. It's very cool. Not getting clay ovens a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I will absolutely buy a veggie. Buying a veggie is great. Well, that's very unfortunate. Um, I could just build here. I could just literally go wood build. That's probably what I'm doing. All right, that's very boring. We've been we've been hit with the the boring thing, but whatever. If if we're gonna if we're gonna leave me six wood to build because literally every person in the game is clowning, then I guess I will take six wood and build. I guess that's my life. Yep. Oh, I got a great. Also gonna take five wood and build. All right. Cool. 
Oh, Shiro's still playing Big Country. Uh-huh. Yeppers. I will build my room. I will build it right here, because why not? It's so funny. It's so funny. We're just all, all clowning here. Every person's clowning. We, we, we freaking... We've, we're all, we all put the shoes and the makeup on. <laughs> we're all clowning. How did this happen that none of us can dead build before I five? Now family growth flips now. It's like, okay, okay guess it's time to build. Guess we're gonna build now. I still got day labor twice and sew. Day laboring twice and sewing is still too insane for me. So that's the plan. This person is just, yeah, I don't know what these two, I mean, this person's big countrying, which is probably gonna be pretty good this game, but there's some clownery going on. What is this gonna be? Yep, that makes sense. This is a good combo. It's a very, very good combo here. Yeah, it's really good with uh, this field watchman set up too, because they, they, Riley or Grade probably doesn't need that much food. Uh, he, no, he did. He definitely, he, he uh, only did, he got an extra grain from uh, this market crier. This market crier gave him an extra grain, so he baked. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's this market crier. This market crier is screwing everything up. What a game this is. God, I don't even have to build my first action here. I want to day labor. Day labor is so efficient for me. Day labor is so stupidly efficient for me. It's so dumb. What a what a stupid game this is. I have to day labor. I can't take the six wood. Whatever. This guy is not having a game anyways. This guy can build all he wants to. I just do not care at all. I literally don't care. I mean, I have to do this first. It's so dumb. Whatever, have your six wood. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. You can have your six wood. I will plow a field, okay? You have your six wood. I plow a field. You take your six wood. I'll plow. How about that? How about that? Yeah, you can have it. Have it. You can have it. It's all yours. It's all yours. You take it. Take it away from me. Yep, you get a build. Makes sense. Eight freaking clay, dude. It might actually stack up higher than that. Just dumb. Which means I should just play this clay fire. All right, our last. Like, the stork's nest got really bad. The stork's nest actually is terrible here, which is unfortunate. Yeah, the stork's nest is so bad. The stork's nest got really bad. This clay fire though is gonna be crazy. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I will play a. Reed pond. I need a bunch of reed, so we'll we'll get a bunch of reed. Very efficient. Yeah, we need. How much more reed do we need to do everything? We need two more reed here to do everything that we want to do. What is this person doing? You don't have. I have the stork's nest. The stork's nest is in my hand. That's why you need five ox. What are we doing? Freaking, freaking this game. Take eight clay, I dare you. He can't even take eight clay because he has bell powder play. It's so funny. It's so funny. He can't take eight clay. I can't take eight clay because I have a million clay. I'm gonna take ten clay though next turn. If it if it stacks to ten clay, I will take ten clay because I will just play clay fire and then we will cross cut wood for infinity wood here. <laughs> I will cross cut wood for like forty million wood it, it, if that happens. We will be cross cut wooding so hard in that case. Yeah, we're gonna take 10 clay and then reno and then play this clay fire and pog. It's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, we're gonna reno pottery if that happens, which is gonna be hot. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about taking the eight clay. He's like, oh, cross cut wood. Cross cut wood is um, you get, it's three ox, it costs you a wood and you pass it. It gets you a number of wood equal to the number of stone in your supply. So basically with uh, Clay Fire, we can just like stack an insane amount of stone here and, and pog with it. Yeah, so unfortunately we don't get to sow this turn. Fortunately, we get to do other stupid things. H how do I feed this, this round? I don't know how I feed, that's a problem. Oh, I could stone oven here actually. We could just stone oven and bake grain. Well, I'll bake a grain into four food with a stone oven, that's fine. I, I, I might have to bake two grain here if I do this. It's kind of an issue. Maybe this person will take another uh, another thing. That'd be cool. Law <laughs> on a grocer. Yeah, grocer is good. 
Grocer's pretty good. Grocer's pretty good with this type of setup. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. This this uh, Mason is looking a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be. It's looking not very good. Yep, there's the big country. Cool. There's the big country. In a surprise to literally no one, there's the big country. Freaking big country. Every time, dude. Every time the big country comes out. What do I do with this 10 clay? <laughs> oh, 10 clay. I mean, I could go 10 clay day labor so or something like that. I don't know. I want to day labor more. Like, day laboring is so good for me. I need to sew at some point. Like, wh when do I sew if I don't sew now? What is happening? This is going to be another collector. All right, it's a small scale. This is a late small scale farmer. Jeez Louise. Well... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're gonna give me freaking this, I need a way to feed with it. That's gonna be an issue. I could just take four food. I could just take two to a day labor and so too. I need like a little bit more food. I need just a tad more food. <laughs> Uh man, dude. <laughs> uh, Gray just messaged me a freaking clown emoji. <laughs> uh, there, there is a lot of clownery going on this game. This game is like all clownery. What do I even do here? I don't actually know. All right, Gray's gonna sew. That makes sense. I'm honestly thinking about going stone oven after a clay firer and baking both of my grain into eight food. I, I think that's actually quite good here. It's so nuts. It's actually just like so insanely good to do that. It's so ridiculously good. Uh, I could also just like traveling players, reno, cooking hearth, and then um, starve. What do I do? <laughs> I need to day labor. I needed to day labor so bad. Uh, what do I do? I can cook both the grain. This guy's gonna use this again, right? Is this guy gonna use this again? He has mill right? He's for sure gonna use this again. He's absolutely using this, this market crier again, in which case I could just sew after that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna do... This clay fire is so stupidly good here. I don't even want a stork's nest. Mm, I don't even want to do it. I don't even want a stork's nest here. I might just traveling. Wait! I don't think so. I think it's going to be okay. I think I have to do this. Yeah, because what I can do is I can buy a cooking hearth and then I can eat the veggie and then buy another veggie, which nets me a food in the harvest. No, no we are definitely... I don't think we're losing to Oshiro here. My game is too nuts to lose to Oshiro here, I think. But we're all clowning, though. We're all absolutely clowning the wireship down. We're, we are getting some very serious clownery going on. There is some very, very serious clownery going on. He, yeah, well, no, he's playing He's playing with Big Country, and Big Country just, like, gives you a bunch of points. So, like, he, he's going to be ahead, or, or Shiro's going to be ahead for a very long time. For Like, there's, he's going to be ahead for a very, very long time, because this, this gives you a lot of points immediately, but he's going to slowly fall, fall behind, because it won't have room for, for uh, people. So, very slowly, uh, we will see Oshiro fall behind. It'll happen very slowly. Um, I could take seven clay. <laughs> It's so funny. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Oh, Carrot Museum. That's spicy. I like that. I like it. Um, I would like to reno here. And then I would like to build a cooking hearth, because cooking hearth seems very pog here. And then we're going to cook this veggie now while we can. 
10 clay. Hilarious. Hilarious to take a 10 clay and like <laughs> feel like not great about it. So funny. We're we're all clowning on this day. It's just a bunch of clownery going on. I'm not tempted to take eight clay at all. I'm not even close to being tempted. Oh, what says big country? This is the new I mean it's it's in the old set. It's in the old set. Yeah, it's it's an A deck card. It is a lot of clay. It's gonna allow us to do stuff. We have too much clay though. We have so much clay. We have a stupid amount of clay, because we, we're gonna go clay fire. I right, pay six feet our family, and then we're gonna buy another veggie back because it's worth food. It's a lot of clay. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy my veggie back because it's food. We like food. What am I doing here? I want to play this clay fire so bad. We're going to get seven stone rooms here. Uh, I have a winter caretaker. So winter caretaker, it gives you a grain immediately. And then it's uh, you can buy a... a veggie for exactly two food at each harvest so we can keep cycling veggies so we, we have a small food engine um uh we can get yeah so we could potentially get a uh a minor proven here oh my god dude what do i do what am i doing this turn so we're day laboring day labor i have to sew i must sew I need day labor. I need two day labors here. Can I take six wood here? <sighs> this day labor. I don't need to build immediately. I need exactly three read as well. I'm actually sad about everything. All right. All right. Deal. Why not? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's six wood. What the heck else am I going to do? Oh my gosh, it's six wood. I, I'm gonna go like this three read day labor or something like that, and then we're just gonna try and get a sew in. Oh, he took my read. That's my read though. I want that. I mean, three read's fine. The problem with three read is that like it's not six wood. Six wood's also just like very good. It's building BMW here. That's weird. Uh. I want to play this Clay Fire very bad. So we're going to go Clay Fire or Day Labor here. Yeah, we're going to do Clay Fire or Day Labor. I may actually just build one room here. Because I, I can build two more rooms for free with my Ox here. So we might just build one room. Okay. We'll just play this now. <laughs> we'll just get this into play. Use, use for all my freaking um, Clay here. We'll just play a use for all my clay. That seems reasonable to me. God, he's gonna let me build. I could build here. Frick, dude, I messed up so bad. I, I can just build here and take a grow. Uh, I didn't anticipate that. I really didn't think that was gonna happen. Shoot, why did I not think this was gonna happen? This was so dumb. I should not have done this. I should not have done this in this order. This was super dumb. Ah, uh, this is so dumb. I just have to sew this turn though. I have to sew. I must sew. Is it worth foregoing a family growth action to sew? I think it is, honestly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna delay family growth by one turn. We're just gonna do it. Plow field. I, I have to plow twice here. I have to plow twice, and so it's too important to me. It's too it's too important to my game plan. Four player games have less have more read. Yeah, they do have less have more read. Yeah, they have more read in them. They tend to have more read. So, all right, you're sewing now because you don't want to compete with them next turn. That's smart. Love to see that. Makes sense. What are you getting? Are you getting like a million stone here? I don't know what he's getting. I guess I could just build a well. I'm going to build a room and then reno to stone next turn. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a room, reno to stone, and play something. I don't know what. Three player. Yeah, Reed is very tight in three player. From what I remember, Reed is very, very tight in three player. So, yeah, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? We're finally playing Agricola on stream. The fabled Agricola stream is here. Uh, this is a game. I, I honestly just don't want to build a million rooms here because I would rather Reno now. Renoing now is, is more efficient. More efficient. Because I want to play this Master Builder anyways. I can play Stork's Nest, which is good, so... Although I may not play the Stork's Nest. Stork's Nest actually costs us a lot of, of uh, time to play. I want this crosscut wood. Those crosscut woods so sick. 
I should probably find a, play, a way to play this crosscut wood and get a million wood out of it, but I, I'm, I don't think it's worth it. All right, what are we doing this turn? Oh, uh, we're not renoing. All right, well, there goes that plan. There goes that plan. There goes the well. Okay, that makes sense. Day labor, so... What's my other action? Build, I guess? Day labor, so build. Um, No one can build here, right? No one can build. Yeah, we'll do day labor, so build. We'll just do it in that order because the, nothing, nothing that I want can possibly get blocked here. All right. We have enough food, right? Yeah, we have enough food. All right. As it turns out, uh, we have enough food. The farm that was promised. Uh huh. The farm that was promised. All right. Well, good thing that I am sowing this turn. Yeah, we just gotta sow. We gotta build and then sow. Sewing is too good. We will do that. Then I'll reno soon. Uh, yeah, it's not kind. It's not quite the same. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to get used to it a little bit. It's kind of like left to right, up to down. Yeah, it's a little bit strange, but yeah, you get used to it eventually. Eventually, get used to it. Oh man! All right, starting player. That's good for me. I like to see that. We like it a lot. Stone clearing. I do not care about that card at all. <laughs> God, there's so much stone in this game. What the heck? There's a stupid amount of stone in this game. I'm very tempted to build stables here. I am very, very tempted to build stables. Yeah, I'll build two stables here. Building two stables in case we get an animal pair next round is pretty pog. Let's do that. It's pretty insane. Then we'll just sow. I don't know how we'll feed, but we'll feed somehow. I may not be able to buy a veggie at the harvest. That's kind of annoying. I, I kind of, I'm not quite able to buy a veggie. That's very lame. Very annoying that we can't buy a veggie at the harvest if I sow this turn, but I have to sow anyways. I mean, I could eat a grain for a veggie, actually. It might be worth it to eat a grain for a veggie here. Might be worth it, because we might get more grain with a market crier triggering anyways. So, so it might be worth eating a grain to get a veggie. I'm pretty in on that. I can always just eat a grain, get a veggie. I'm, I'm fine with that. It, it just generates a, two food to eat a grain at this harvest, so we'll do that probably. Gray also going to go for animal pairs. I would like to sow, because sowing is a million points. Sow me. Yeah. Do this. Confirm. I need to reno an improvement. I need to get this stone oven here. We got to get the stone oven. I guess that that eating the, the if I'm going to stone oven here, eating the grain is not good. If I'm going to stone oven, I shouldn't eat the grain, which I probably am stone ovening, so I probably shouldn't do that. So we'll, we'll not stone oven here. We'll just reno and do that. Oh, I can family grow before I reno and I can just do a cross cut wood. Let's do that. Oh my God, chat. We can cross cut wood for a million wood here. We can actually cross cut wood for 50 billion wood. So, okay, what are we doing? We're going reno? Crosscut wood. How much? How much stone do we need? Oh, is this guy gonna reno into frickin' uh, stone oven? That would be very annoying. That's probably what's gonna. Oh no, we can't reno. Can't reno with this first action. No read. Uh, I would like to change this veggie into food because I have a lot of veggies. I have lots of veggies in my life. Yeah, this is fine. Sure. Not gonna buy a veggie, that's fine. Nope, no veggie for me. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -doo. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take like eight wood with this crosscut wood or something like that. Is this person gonna read stone food for their first action? If they do, I'm gonna be very sad. Um, because then I probably have to reno first if they do that. Don't do it. Don't re don't read. Take the take the pigs. Which I also want, but I, I don't care about it as much as I care about getting a family grow first before this uh before taking Reno. It's actually going to be... How much... Wait, how much stone do I have? I have to make sure I have seven stone. Wait, wait. How much stone do I have? Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, I have nine stone. <laughs> we got nine stone. Is nine stone enough? I, don't, I think nine stone's enough. I think nine stone's going to be enough, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get nine wood off this crosscut wood. I guess I should have built more stables. <laughs> All right, don't be a read. Please don't give a read. Don't give a read. Don't do it. No giving read. 
Why am I drinking more of my coffee? Yeah, nine stow is reno build. Well, I'm, we're not gonna build because we have, so we have this mason and this mason allows us to build a room for free if we have a stone house with four rooms. And we have a master builder, which allows us to build a room for free if we're at five rooms. Um, so we don't need to do that. Fencing, that is good for us. That's good for us. Oh, okay, we get to do everything that we want. So we're gonna start by taking the pigs here. So we're gonna go pigs into family grow into reno. That's what we're gonna do here. Pigs grow rhino. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go pigs grow rhino. P pigs are so good for us here because we get a breeding pair. It's super nice, super pog. We also cut this guy off of points. Very good. Boom. And we need the food. Let's go. Yeah, three pigs is very good. Uh-huh. All right. A dinner coffee. Yeah, it's dare coffee. Exactly. Eight o'clock coffee. I don't know why I have a little extra. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just do this. God, I love Mark Cryer so much sometimes. Mark Cryer is so good for us this game. It's so insane. It's so insane for us. All right, please build first action. That's what we want to see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's so lame. Whatever, I don't need to reno this round. We don't need to do it. Oh, improvement, that's interesting. Yeah, there is, oh, there's a stone oven. There is the stone oven. What am I doing with my stone? Honestly, I could do whatever. Yeah, I, I, I can find something to do with it. I'll build a pottery or a joinery or something. Like, I'll, I'll find something to do with it if I don't get a reno here. I, I just have to get all this frickin', I have to turn all this into stuff. More stone. I mean, I could build more stone houses. That's definitely doable. Should I let myself get the joinery jacked or the uh, pottery jacked? I think it's worth it to get all this wood with crosscut wood. Honestly, I think it's worth it. I mean, he he has to reno this turn in order to use the the bell founder. I just can't pass up like fifty million wood here. Fifty million wood is so insane. Yeah, I'll just build in stone if I have to. All right, well, let's build in stone. I would like this much stone. Le Leben Lebensraum? <laughs> what does that mean? All right, we'll just do this, I guess. I guess we'll just play our crosscut wood for nine wood. That seems reasonable to me. Doesn't that seem good to you? That seems pretty poggers to me. Seems pretty poggers to me, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we can't go back to clay once we did this, but whatever, it's fine. We're gonna be renoing soon anyways, so it's all good. German justification for taking territory and call. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, exactly, it's 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 Lebensraum, exactly. You got it right, you're exactly right, it's Lebensraum. How could I forget? God, I don't want this, the seventh room is so bad though. I don't want the seventh room. I really don't want the seventh room. The seventh room is super not good. I mean, I don't have to play master builder, I guess, but that seems like a waste. Six rooms is all I want. I want exactly 12 fences here. I don't want any more than that. I mean, I could just fence everything. My point cap is so absurdly high this game. My point cap is so stupidly high. It's three, but the problem is that I need the, the fields though. Oh my God, he's building. Oh my gosh, we actually got bailed out. We got so bailed out here. I can't express how badly this bails us out. This is the most bailout bailout of all times. This is uh, absolutely incredible. Um, I will be renoing here. <laughs> I will absolutely be renoing here because we have a bricklayer so we can buy our uh, pottery here, which is really, really nice. So we will do that. Pootery me, give me pootery. I could also joinery here. Wait, is joinery actually good? Is joinery or pottery better? Joinery might be better. <laughs> Joinery might be better. No, there's no way joinery is better here. Uh, I mean, joinery is gonna be quite good, but I think pottery is just so good here. We want to plow. We want to do some stuff. Yeah, we're, we're our point cap is so high this game. Our point cap is so stupidly high. I probably also want to build joinery here to be honest, but we, we want to fence next turn. This crosscut wood was completely insane. Oh, a freaking miner for for nine for nine wood is stupid. <laughs> what a stupid card. Joinery is a scam. Uh, this game, it is not because we have so much wood. 
this game specifically, it is not a scam because of the amount of wood that we have. Our food still sucks, by the way. Like, even though we got this here, the, our food is still pretty booty. Like, next turn, we're going to go... What are we going to do next turn? We're going to go day labor. Sheep. Fence. We're going to go day labor. We're fencing next turn for sure. We got to fence next turn. Gray deciding that Bell Founder not worth it this turn, I guess, which is nice for me. Oh, I see what they wanted to do. They wanted to build and then reno, but I renoed on them because they didn't think I was going to reno. Got it. I understand now. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine this game. This game's going great. This game is going great. It could not possibly be going better. I don't think. It could be going a little better always, but whatever. Our game's nuts. I'm sad that we only built two stables here, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, adding more wood to the game. All right. Deal deal this is like this is on its way to being a 60 honestly this is on its way to being a 60 if i get these sheep here we're getting a 60 for sure this is on its way to being like a, a 60 like the problem is that my point cap is going to get hit what else can i build here it's literally only joinery right it's only joinery that's buildable yeah it's literally only joinery there's so much wood in this game. How is there so much wood? I guess I added nine. I guess I added literally nine wood to the game. So that that makes a lot of sense. Bop, bop, bop. I think I'm fencing with my first action here to try and nab these sheep. I think that's pretty nuts here. That's pretty good. This song has no business going as hard as it does. No business. Although that's the entire Cuphead soundtrack, to be honest. Um, I actually want to use my two stone for a sheep wall here. Sheep wall is definitely the most point efficient way to use my uh, my stone. Definitely the most point efficient way to use that. I need to scroll down just a little bit. Whoa, starting player. We'd love to see it. Starting player alert. Okay, they got the points card. Uh, what do I do here? I mean, I could take the wood and build joinery. Take the wood, build joinery. How else do I increase my point cap here? So wood, joinery, fence. So stupid. I just don't need this wood. I do not need this wood at all. Yeah, screw joinery. Screw joinery. We're just fencing here. We're just fencing so that we can take the sheep with the first action next move. Yeah, we just fence. Screw it. Screw, screw the rules. I have money. Screw the rules. I have money. building fireplace for points uh, i can't because i have pottery here pottery prevents me from building that for points but uh it, it still is like okay i have to put all these in one place otherwise i'm gonna go insane um yeah it, it's it's uh yeah all right i want these sheep we want to gear up for the sheep we want to block fence gotta do all that all right everyone's building rooms everybody be at five rooms let's go um, oh, we get to play our... Actually, we get to play our freaking uh, Mason here and build another room, by the way, and, and jump uh, Gray in the family growth queue again. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun, chat. Isn't that fun to jump jump Gray in the family growth queue? That sounds fun to me. Love to see a Mason. Yeah, I'm on my way to a 60 here. Th this is a, a game that we could easily get a 60 with. This is an easy 60. <laughs> This is, this is like an easy 60. This, this game could not have possibly gone better. Uh, and we are, we're hitting six stone rooms. We are going to be like capped out on everything else. We can't possibly get blocked on fields. Like it's just feeding is the only thing we care about. Well, as it turns out, when you get 10 clay that you get to turn into nine stone and nine wood, it, it is pretty good. It's pretty decent. I mean, it, you know, it's not that good, but it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, the stable architect is looking heavily embarrassing, by the way. <laughs> it's looking very embarrassing. Oh, man. Yeah, chat, once again, if you want to know what any card does, let me know because the extension's not working. I'm more than happy to click on a card and zoom in if you're curious to know what it does. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, yeah, I, I would like this, please. I would really like that. So this, yeah, that's fine. I need more stables, honestly. Honestly, I'd take more stables. What are we doing for food? Uh, we're day laboring. That's going to be for food. Other than that, I don't really know. I wish we had gotten, I really wanted that stone oven. I was really banking on getting that stone oven. But yeah, I just don't care about anything here. 
Just literally don't care about anything. Yeah, we're we're gonna be so stupidly point capped here. We're gonna be so stupidly point capped. I agree. Building a fireplace makes sense. Food is not terrible for them. They got the carrot museum. Okay, we want day labor. What's our other move? Oh yeah, we're playing an Auk here. Um, I guess we'll play an Auk first. So McGray is sad. It's operation make Gray sad. Ba, 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 ba. All right, time to make you sad. Time for happiness for me, because for whatever reason, this Mason made it to me. For whatever reason, this Mason made it to me, which is nutty. So we'll just build our fifth room and be fine. I, I literally don't know what we're going to do for points after this next turn. I'm probably going to take... I need to take one cow at some point, so I can take a second cow later on. I have to day labor this turn, though. I must, I'm must. i obligated to day labor, because it gives me my food, it gives me a field. Like, day laboring is just the thing that I need to do. I can bake some grain, probably, with when I sow next time. Next time I sow, I could probably bake some grain. Yeah, I, I want to take wood and build stables again. I think that taking wood building stables again is fine. I have the stork's nest that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> all the mires in my hand do not matter at all. I've been past a freaking stone clearing here. I've been past a... Oh wait, the shifting cultivation's in a weird spot. Can I move this? Wait, can I move this, please? I want to move this. I can't reposition the cards in my hand. What happened to my... <laughs> what did I do with it? It's gone. My field's gone. Wait, chat, my field's gone. I have to refresh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, okay, go to game. We're fine. Pause champ. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, my, my shifting cultivation's back. My shifting cultivation's back, chat. It's, it's all back. All right, we'll day labor. Day labor because it's a lot of food. And then I don't know how I'm feeding here, but somehow... Oh, we're feeding with a boar. Easily feeding with a boar. Love to see it. Yeah, honestly, like, these car Assistant Tiller is crazy this game. Assistant Tiller Loam Pit is, like, so dumb. It's so stupid. Mason is so dumb, too. I, I, I don't understand. People need to stop passing Mason. Mason is just, like, too stupid. It's way too dumb. It's just, like, always a, a six-point move. It's so stupid. What a dumb card it is. It's so good. It's so good. Mason. Oh, so Mason, once we have four uh, stone or four rooms in our house. Whoops, my card disappeared. Hello, card. I would like you back. Okay, I got to refresh. It's gone now. Our card's gone. We got to refresh. Whoops. Uh, so, yeah. So, it, basically, if we have four stone rooms, it gives us a fifth stone room uh, whenever we want to build it. So, yeah, it, it just gives us a fifth room for, for free. At once we're in stone and we have uh, that many uh, resources or that many things. Um, we would like to cook... Oh, clay. I'm going to cook a sheep and a boar as well because I... Wait, did I cook a sheep? Clay. Wait, clear. Hold on. Okay, so clay. Oh no, they, I hit the wrong clay button. I see. I hit the wrong clay button. I, I converted clay into a uh, into to a stone instead of to food. All right, let's hit the right clay button there. So we should go at ten food here. We're gonna buy another veggie because buying another veggie is good. We like veggies. We love veggies. Veggies are food, and they are points, and we want both those things. Food and points are great. All right, we got we got a feeding strat going on. Yep, give me this. Yeah, I'm just gonna grow here, right? I want the two cows, but honestly, this person. Oh, family growth and flip. That's unfortunate for you. Although it doesn't matter. No one, no one else is gonna family growth without room anyways, <laughs> except for this guy. That's the only the only good thing about uh, White's game is that they get the family growth. Yeah, they're gonna take this anyways. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, in that case, well, I guess I will just wish. And we'll play a sheep well. Because sheep well is food, it's a lot of points, it unpoint caps us, it's all very poggers. Put this here, maybe. Yeah, like right here. Confirm. How do we get more points? Joinery? I gotta take four wood. I'm out of points to get, honestly. I'm I'm very low on points. I'm super duper low on points here. <laughs> to get. I, I don't know how to get more points here other than cow marketing and like sewing next round. I'm at eight grain already, by the way. 
We gotta worry about food. Um, I'm gonna take the wood if I get a chance to. If I get a chance to take wood, I'll take the wood. Also, we'll day labor. Lasso. Lasso is very annoying here. Lasso is very annoying because I really would like to take... Um, what is it called? There, there's a lot of things I would like to take here. I want to sew sometime in the next turn. I don't think I need to, like, wait on sewing. I think that, honestly, I can sew. Okay, yeah, they're going to fence. That makes sense. They're going to get starting player on. Like, honestly, like, uh, Oshiro's probably going to start player. It's probably going to happen. Yeah, we're just, like, so far ahead. Um, all right, we're doing four wood. Four wood for sure. Four wood's definitely happening. Four Stork's Nest. Stork's Nest didn't even get played because people were clowning at the beginning. That's so sad. So sad. Rip Stork's Nest. We had a Stork's Nest dream. It just didn't work out. Stork's Nest, I will say, I do find that Stork's Nest is, like, very, very hard to play. It's, like, it's like very difficult to find an opportunity to play it. It's very hard to do. Just because, like, you have to play so many Ox. And, like, sometimes if you play a lot of Ox, then that can be good. Um, okay, that's way to increase point ceiling there. That's pretty good. I love how Cultivation is just coming back. Do I take Cultivation here if it if it comes around to me? I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't even take this Plow, so that's so sad. No one wants the Plow, so... <laughs> no one wants Plow, so that's so sad. It's so sad. I don't want a major either. I don't know how to increase my point cap here. I need a day labor and so here, and then out outside of. I need to take four wood actually. Four wood's the way I'm increasing my point cap. Although this person's all always taking joinery here, so there's no there's no chance I'm getting joinery unfortunately. All right, I would like to build stables at some point, so we will do that. I, I gotta finish my stables off. Got to finish my stables off, and then I think my next actions here are actually going to be day labor so I think day labor so is the best way into points because like the only way that I really get blocked here is is getting blocked on on so that's really the only thing that that's terrible that could happen to me. I'm just so stupidly point capped here. I need I'm taking a cow before literally anything else. I'll probably start players so that way I guarantee that I get whatever action I need. I don't know how to increase my point cap here outside of building a freaking BMW. Maybe I could build a BMW. Oh, day labor actually lets me get stone. I should have thought about this more. We gotta build a major here. Maybe I can build BMW. Maybe BMW is actually playable. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, if we could build BMW or joinery, that would be completely insane. Okay, Gray's gonna reno. We're gonna do this now. I wanna sow this turn if possible. If possible, I wanna sow this turn. Um, we're gonna plow field here. And I'll just do this this turn. Gray has not much wood. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we're, okay. Oh, B uh, Basket Maker's Workshop. Yeah, sorry. Basket Maker's Workshop, which is this thing. It's this thing. Actually, joinery is good for me here. If, if it gets around to me, I'll build joinery here. Do I need to sew? Am I sewing this turn? Okay, they're taking the plow sew. That makes sense. Do I sew bake this turn? Real questions. Sew bake we have to do at some point. Um, I just don't know when. Grain. Yeah, that makes sense. When do I sew bake? Yeah, I for sure have to take... Um, I gotta take joinery here. It's like too, it's too many points. I have to increase my point cap somehow. And so that's like the only real way that I can do it here is to take joinery. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna, this feels bad, but we're gonna turn um, two clay into one stone. We're using two clay to one stone. Terrible conversion rate, it feels very bad. Um, do I need to sew actually? I got a major here. I have to major because if I don't major, it's like it's so likely it gets taken. Like not getting a so until later on is gonna be totally fine here, but I, I have to take this now if I'm going to take it. So we gotta take it now. It's like the only way to increase our point cap here. And we can still take Basket Maker's Workshop later on if we can snag this read on a turn where it seems okay. Like we can maybe snag Basket Maker's here too. This is the one way in which guilds are good by the way in which like joinery pottery are good is that if you are heavily point capped in the what in a game this is a way to increase your point cap this is a way to do it god we're at 51 and we still have two rounds left to play what the heck <laughs> we're at 51 and we got two rounds left to go with the heck. 
So many rounds left to go. So many rounds left. We gotta play Master Builder at some point. Oh, we get another three points there. We get to take Cow. Yeah, we, we get to take So for two more points. We're hitting 60 very easily. I don't know how to get higher than 60, really. But, I mean, I just gotta take Wood. Now taking Wood is really good for me, again, which is nice. Gray got kind of wrecked on Wood here somehow. God, no one wants Plasso. It's so funny. So funny, no one wants Plasso. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, Gray would rather take So Bait because they, they need the food. He needs the food here. So he has this Dutch windmill. It's so funny. Uh, I don't think he built... I don't know if he built three... Yeah, he built three wooden rooms. Yeah, I think it's because of that. Ooh, Woodfield, my favorite card. I love Woodfield so much. This card's so sweet. But yeah, I think he built three wooden rooms. So that, that definitely cost him his... I mean, he has some amount of wood. But, like, I'm going to be cutting wood now because I uh, built this this thing. I'm taking a sheep with my... Or a, a cow with my first action because that is... Actually, am I taking a cow? Four wood is actually the same amount of points. It, yeah, normally it's nuts. The problem is that in this game, uh, Oshiro built all of the uh, fields very early on because went for big country. Uh, he has the half-timbered house. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so that happened early on. Uh, I don't know why Green's not doing it. I have no clue why Green's not doing it. I think they just have a full fields already. They already sowed, so that's fine. I, I can't do it because I get fields for free on my, on my day labors, which is just better for me. Um, what am I doing here? Cow would... I think the wood is actually worth more to me right now than the cow because extra wood I can convert into uh, stables here, which is good for me. And so, yeah, we'll take wood. Wood's good. Let's do this. Take all the wood. Wood super, super pog. Yeah, we can get stables here. I, I can get a cow later on. Uh, I if, if I don't get a cow this turn, I will take a cow next turn for sure. It's just the, the four wood's so good. We're probably not getting a four wood action again. We might get one next turn, and if we do, we're definitely going to use that for stables. So we might need to feed with the wood, honestly, too. My feeding is a little bit sketchy still. If we get a so bake, though, it's going to fix everything. Going to fix everything if we get a so bake here. We have eight grain exactly. So we can bake two grain. I think baking two grain's fine here. All right, a gray is going to go for uh, BMW, probably. That seems totally logical. I need one awk at some point. So where are we? So what, how do we get points? So cow, so awk. That's about it. <laughs> cow, so awk, wood action, stable. Yeah. Oh, wait, supply boat's worth a point. Let's go. Supply boat worth a point. We'd love to see it. Makes four wood not too bad for us if we get a four wood. Uh-huh, I'm going to build stables. That makes sense. How do I don't want to feed? Six, oh, six clay is also very good for us. Six clay is also a million points. Um, is anyone else taking this clay? No chance. Oh, Gray needs clay. Oh, but Gray has one clay at the end of the next round, though, for, for the thing. Yeah, six clay is a million points for us, but I can get clay in other ways. We're, we're just taking the cow here. We're just taking the cow. Cow, and then so. No one's taking so big here. Yeah, we'll just take cow. We'll, we'll take, we can take so later. We, we don't need it now. We don't need it now. We'll just do it later. Yep, confirm. Three. Reno, okay. Ooh, Renoing with the uh, with this mill right. That's pretty pretty uh, interesting. Using using some grain for Reno. I like to see that because then maybe uh, this freaking um, grain guy gets hit one more time. That'd be pretty cool. God, I hate Market Crier is so dumb. What a silly card. What a silly card Market Crier is. Very silly card. The average score in this game is going to be crazy, by the way. The average score in this game is going to be crazy. Like, even though we're crushing this game, the average score in this game is going to be so completely nuts. It's going to be so insane. And it's mainly because of Market Crier. Like, adding, giving everybody two or three grain is just completely nuts. It's so insane. Giving everyone two or three grain is completely ridiculous. Yeah, like, Oshiro's gonna get, like, a 50 year, and it's gonna be fine. I mean, Sultan's, like, clearly in last, unfortunately, for them. They kind of, like, dabbled around doing a little bit too many different things here, and they, they couldn't quite get it together, I don't think. 
they're still gonna get a respectable score. Like, they're still probably gonna get, like, a mid-40 or whatever. But it's just not gonna be good enough. No! My starting player! I don't understand why this person is taking starting instead of Plasso here. That doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I forgot about the Lasso, so I'm glad that I took the Cow here. Taking the Cow here, very cool for, for um, dealing with this Lasso. That's a good move. That's a good move. How high of a score can we get, chat? How high will we go? That's the real question. I'm very curious how high the score is going to go. Right now we're at 55, 60. We're easily at 60 right now. I think we're gonna get like a 65. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a 65. This is gonna be a pretty sick 65 here. Power of Mason. Actually, Mason did not do anything for us. It was it was like assistant tiller loan pit and getting a 10 uh, a 10 clay grab. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even 10 clay. I don't know. Everything was just really efficient for us this game. Actually, it was the 10 clay grab into the uh, the crosscut wood. The, the, or the, yeah, the, the 10 clay grab into the crosscut wood was completely ridiculous. That was it. It's definitely 60. It's 100% above 60. It's just how much above 60 we're going. We're at guaranteed 60. We're guaranteed 60 here with just Master Builder and so. So we're guaranteed a 60 here. Um, I'm going to sew this action. That seems reasonable to me. Like everything else I can get in some other way. We're just gonna we're just gonna so bake here. Um we have exactly enough to do this, and then we will bake two grain into food here. Yeah, this seems fine. Nine, eleven, thirteen. I, so I can eat with clay as much as possible, as much as I want to. I don't want to eat with um, wood if I can. Wood, it, wood is worth more points to me than clay. I would really like to not eat with um, wood here if possible. Oh, I have, wind, or I have food in the future. We need exactly 10 more food this game somehow. Uh, where you can eat one sheep for free. I would like to keep the boar around if possible. I really need to continue increasing my point cap. Um, no, we're skipping the break song. No. At will let play. Whatever, we'll let play. So what are <laughs> song's very good. I should play an Oct this turn, so that way I can't get blocked next turn. And maybe that's not good enough. I don't know. Maybe it's not good enough. I don't want to do chores song. Song's telling me to do chores. I don't want to do chores. Ooh, taking a pig. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, what was I doing again? My brain just went blank. I'm going to take the clay now. We're going to take the clay now. It's more efficient. Got to increase the point cap. Got to shove the point cap up. Uh, and then I guess I don't need to awk this turn. I might take three wood, honestly. I might just take three wood here. Through it's pretty pretty insane. It also blocks gray a little bit. Uh, I could just awk this turn. Oh, this song's gonna get on my nerves. Yeah, well, three wood. Every wood action is just completely insane for me here. We're gonna three wood. I think three wood's the way to go. Every wood action's nuts. I gotta skip the song. The song's gonna drive me insane here. The song's gonna actually drive me nuts. There we go. Back to it. All right, well, we're at 60 with a little bit of time to go. <laughs> we're, at, we're at a clean 60 already. And we got one entire more turn to go. Hilarious. The most points? Um, Probably the high 60s. I think high 60s is, is about the... I mean, maybe I've gotten a 70 once. It's very rare. It's very, very rare. You have to have a lot of stuff go right to get that high of a score, honestly. Um, okay, so we can eat a veggie and then buy another veggie. So we're going to do this, this for now. Yeah, so we'll do this and this for now, and then we'll buy another veggie here. So eat a veggie, buy a veggie. Yep, pay that. Buy a veggie because it's free to do this. Confirm. Give me all the animals. Because in this way, one, um, one sheep is worth a point. I do this. Yep. Give me this too. Cool. 
Yeah, I think I think high 60s is about about the the highest score I've gotten. I mean, I I, I don't think I've gotten too much higher than that. I mean, honestly, we might we might get us. It, it's is it possible we could get a 70 this game? Is that even possible? Um, if I get four wooden stables, I think I can hit a 70. I think if I hit four wooden stables. So what do we have here? We have master builder. We have a million one point actions. I, I don't know if I can do better than one point for a lot of these actions here. I'm very point capped here. Four five. My food is is a little tight. That's one problem. I need I need one feeding action here. The feeding action is gonna be worth a point to me. I guess I can just so bake. Like there's so many feeding actions I have. I, I see one feeding action. So we need okay, so master builder, wood stables. Is this guy taking stables on me? Is this guy really gonna stables me? By the way, this guy's two wood just floating around. It, it, this guy might stables me. Oh, I could stables first action. Oh, that's an idea. We could stables. Oh, we only have two stables to build. No, dude. Oh, wait, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we stables first action. Build two stables. Then that means that we can take a wood action later and be totally fine. So we can stables now, take wood action later. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. So we stables now. Stables. Because it's, it's a point that I really can't get back easily. Stables, Master Builder. Uh... <laughs> Don't know how else I get points. Stables, Master Builder, 5-7. There's a fence action. Oh, it's a red fence. It's okay. That's annoying for, for Gray. And they are really battling it out for second place over there. And a cow. Makes sense. The battle for second place is real. I guess I don't need to build a uh, any. Well, actually, Oshiro can. Oh, Oshiro can't stable here. Oh, okay, cool. I guess four four wood is a stable and two point or two food here. Two. Do I have any passive food? I have no passive food, right? I have nothing going on for passive food. Uh. Yeah, I mean, this is the best we can do, I think. It's this into... Uh, cannot stable. Yeah, no one can stable here. Actually, Sultan can stable, in theory. Screw it. We'll just do this now. We'll do this now. It's too it's too important to us. So we'll do this now. We're going to awk with our next action, and then we're just going to... I don't know what we're going to do after that. We're, we're just going to play it by ear. <laughs> Can I break 70? I don't think I can. I think I'm so point capped. I'm like stupidly point capped here. I'm so, this is the most point capped I've ever been in my life. The highest point cap I've ever achieved. Actually, that's not true. Probably I've gotten a higher score than this. On BGA, this might be my highest score. I may not have gotten a higher score than this on BGA. This might be the highest score I've gotten on this, on this site. Which is pretty sweet. I need another grain. If this guy could give me a grain, he would be a total bro. No, he's not going to give me another grain, Sag. I need one more grain for food. I'm short one grain. A grain is a point for me. What a bummer. Oh, wait, we can eat a veggie, buy a veggie. Wait, wait, we can eat a veggie, buy a veggie, and then that's a point. That, or that's a food. Okay, so we have our feeding set. So we, we feed with wood, clay, sheep. That's nine, and then we eat a veggie, buy a veggie. So that's 10. So we have our food all set. No, but we have to play an Auk, though. We have to play an Auk. Playing an Auk is going to kill us here. Darn it, playing an Auk is, is down a food. So sad. Hate to see it. We hate to see it. Uh-huh. I mean, Gray's game is still going to be fairly respectable, I think. When they reno, it's going to be a 10-point reno. I think this is the second game in a row that Oshiro has big country. <laughs> Might be the second game in a row that Oshiro has played big country. How else do I get points, by the way? Um, I don't actually know, besides besides this uh, thing here. Oh, I might be screwed on points. No, all the animals got taken. Wait a second, I might not have points. Uh, oh wait, we have supply boat. Supply boat's a point. So, wait, we have four actions we need to find. Okay, so wood. Supply boat lessons food. Yeah, it's gotta be wood supply boat lessons food. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this now, I think. 
So take the... No one's going to take wood ever. We'll just do this now. Too many points. We'll just do it now. Build rooms. Boom. All right. Broke. Poggies! Bro. <laughs> Poggies. Yay, Poggies. Yay for Poggies. All right. Good thing I did that now. Okay. I'm glad I did this now. I didn't realize there was a freaking... Okay. It has a Hide Farmer. Hide Farmer's pretty good here. It's a good card. Not good for me because I am hitting the point cap. <laughs> uh, is there any other way that I can feed? Yeah. We just got to take four, four wood... How do I how do I get points here? Four wood, improvement, food. That's it. Four wood improvement, food, and then I'm at my point cap here. And we've hit the point cap officially. Um, improvement, four wood. Yeah, I mean I just take the food here. That's fine. I guess three wood's also fine too. It's the exact same thing. So we do this. All right. Yep, stone for the thing. Wait, can they not? Wait, where's the wood? Does he not have a wood for... Oh, no, he already played this. I'm stupid. I'm very dumb. Uh, and then improvement here. Play the supply boat. Because it's a point. Why not? And then we take more wood at the end. Very close between Gray and Oshiro. Not, oh, actually Gray. Oh, got the points there at the end. Yeah, a little bit close. Um, I am <laughs> crushing everybody though. I'm crushing everyone. We got a 68, very close to a 70. Very, very close. Uh, I think it's a 68. Yeah, it should be a 68 here. Should be a 68 barring anything. Where's the constable to put me over? Where's the constable? Give me a constable points. Put me at 70, please. All right, well, I can't complain about a 68. That's a pretty high score. I don't think I've gotten a 68. Uh, I don't think I've, I think this might be my highest score that I've ever gotten, maybe. Everything in this game went pretty, that 10 clay grab ended up being complete. I didn't, I didn't think that 10 clay grab was gonna be absurd because we had so much clay anyways, but it ended up being super crazy there to get the cross cut wood for nine wood. That ended up being like totally ridiculous. So yeah, the average score in this game is very high. Gray barely edging out second place over Oshiro because of the uh, BMW, which I kind of wanted to take, but ended up being fine. All right, we'll convert the sheep. Goodbye sheep, and then we'll breed it, because why not? Convert the sheep and breed it. Dang, dude, 68. That is pretty nuts. I will take that. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, that's funny. That's a good one. All right, no no veggies for me. We, we're done buying veggies. Winter Caretaker was super good this game. Winter Caretaker was very, very good. I really like that card a lot. Really good. Oh, Gray's hitting like a 60, actually. That's pretty insane. Oh, 57? That's pretty good. Yeah, Gray, Gray had a higher score than I thought. But freaking everything for my game just went totally correct. Like, yeah. Everything went great. <laughs> All right, well, this is a, a pretty good score. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Chat, GG. We we uh, destroyed destroyed everyone. Dumpstered everyone with our freaking, uh, our cool day labor. Uh, day labor loam pit is so good. Day labor loam pit's just like so insane. It's so ridiculous. And then we had the way to turn clay into stone. That ended up being crazy too. Every, every card that I thought was gonna be crazy, that game was completely crazy. The worst card was freaking, um, was the uh, Stork's Nest. Stork's Nest was the worst card that I drafted. That's the only card that I really regret drafting is the Stork's Nest. I, I re Although it gave us some flexibility if things had gone differently in the game. Yeah, that was a very silly game. That was a very silly game, but <laughs> the, 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 I didn't think the 10 clay, I was telling everyone else, I didn't think the 10 clay was gonna be like as insane for me as it was because I had like insane access to clay anyways. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna be taking a bunch of clay here and it like delayed my plows a bit, but then it ended up being like completely ridiculous because I ended up getting a freaking nine wood cross cut. <laughs> Which is super dumb. Yeah, that game was very, very silly. Uh, yeah, the the big country like it adds so many. The the big country plus the um the guy adding a bunch of grain to the game added like such a stupid amount of actions and food and things like that to the game that it made the scores like completely nuts.